it's that time of the year again, and I will be showing you guys how to make a super cute macrame reindeer wall hanging to add some festive cheer to your home. Nicole here and welcome to Bochina Macrame, the channel where you will find all things macrame related. In this video tutorial, I will be sharing with you guys how to make a super cute macrame reindeer wall hanging using a deer frame. This is the frame that I will be using for this project. As you can see, here are the antlers, here are the ears, and here's the face of the deer. We will be adding knots and cord to weave around this frame to form a reindeer that will look like this. This is a great beginner friendly project and it is super easy to follow along. For more details on the materials you will need for this pattern, you can check out the links in the video description below. And with that said, let's get right into it. To get started, you will need some materials and supplies. I've used 3mm cord along with that 12 inch deer frame and below are the suggested cord lengths for this pattern. I will be using 3mm cord in 3 different colors to make this reindeer. You can choose to do the same or you can change up the color variations as you would like. I will be using natural for the face of the reindeer. I'll be using the terracotta for the nose and I will be using the sand beige for the eyes and the antlers. These rolls of cord are from our three millimeter single strand rainbow cord line. These are soft and sturdy cords and are great for beginners to learn with since they are sturdy and hold shape. And so if you have to unknot your mistake several times because you are learning, this cord will hold up even though it's single strand. These cords are available on Bochina.com or on Amazon US and Canada. As for the frame, I'll be using this 12 inch length deer frame. These frames are made from sturdy metal, which is perfect for macrame and weaving projects. You do have to make tight knots, so you will have to tug on the frame here and there, and these frames will hold up well. The best thing about these frames is that it gives you another opportunity to make even more unique macrame projects. For more details on the materials that I've just explained, you can check out the links in the video description below. And now we're ready to jump into the pattern. We're going to start with 110 centimeter long cords folded in half. And on the top part of the ankler, we're going to make a reverse lark's head knot. Then right beside this one, add another reverse lark's head knot. This knot pattern that we're going to make will consist of a series of consecutive square knots and then some weaving with the outer cords. So starting with the four cord ends here, we're going to take the far left and far right cords as working cords for a square knot. Now that our first square knot is complete, we're going to take the outer left and right cords again and we're going to weave them outside of the frame, through the back, and then through to the front, but then keeping them to the sides, like so. Once we have weaved the outer left and right cords, we're going to use the same outer cords for another consecutive square knot. Once we're done this, we're going to continue repeating this weaving plus square knot pattern. Okay. 
I will show you guys once more how to make this pattern. We're going to weave the outer cords through the back, pull them through to the front on both sides, and then continue with another square knot. Continue this weave plus square knot pattern five more times below. Once the eight square knots are done, we're going to take the remaining anchor cords, bring them to the back, and we're going to tie a double overhand knot. Now we're going to repeat the same thing on the left ankler on the right side, but this time for only seven total square knots. To finish off the right set of antlers, we're going to take a 60 centimeter long cord folded in half, and we're going to make a reverse Lark's head knot in between those two antlers on the right side. Now we're going to take the outer left and right cords. So these should be the cords from the anchor cord groups from up above. And we're going to use them as working cords now for a set of continuous square knots plus the weaves on the side. So make a large square knot and now take the outer left and right cords, weave them through the sides and then through the center to the front and then continue with another square knot. Repeat the same weave plus square knot pattern downwards four more times. Take the working cords through to the back side and then finish off with a double overhand knot. Turning the pattern back to the front, we're going to repeat the same pattern on the anklers on the left side, mirroring what we just did on the right. To finish off the anklers, we're going to take the group of cords and we're going to push them through to the back. So push it behind the frame and take the cord ends to the back side. Then turning the pattern upside down, this is the part where we need our crochet hook and we're going to thread the cord ends through to the back. So choosing a loop from the square knots, we're going to place our crochet hook through the loop and then pull the cord ends through. And we're going to do that two times on both sides.
Now repeat the same thing on the other side. Now that the antlers are complete, we're now going to start on the ears and the face. And to do that, we're going to use our three millimeter single strand cord in natural. To start the ears, we're going to take one strand of cord at 50 centimeters long, fold it in half, and we're going to make a reverse lark's head plus half hitch knot onto one of the ears. So I'm starting off with the left side. What we're going to do is make a reverse lark's head knot, then with both cord ends, we're going to make a half hitch knot on both sides. Once done, we're going to repeat for another reverse arc head plus half hitch on the left side and on the right side but this time we're going to be using 130 centimeter long cords so one on the left and one on the right once attached you'll see that the middle two cords are the shorter cord ends and then the outer left and right two cords are the longer cord ends this time we're going to make a series of square knots again, but we're going to use the outer left two cords on both sides as the working cords for the square knot. Once the square knot is made, we're now going to take the outer two cords, so the working cords we're using here, weave them through the sides of the ears, back through to the front, and then continue on with another square knot. Continue with four more square knots underneath. Now do the same thing onto the right ear. Now to seal the ends of the ear, we're going to take the outer two cords from both sides and we're going to bring them to the back. So you're going to need to bring the side two cords close to the antlers to the back and you're going to have to squeeze it in between the frame there. Once through to the back, what we're going to do is we're going to take those two cores from each side and make two double overhand knots at the back. Then with the middle two anchor cords, we're going to weave them through two of the loops on the ear at the back. Now repeat the same thing on the other ear. Now that the ears are done, we can now start on the face. With 10 strands of cord at 170 centimeters long, we're going to attach them at the top of the face. So the top of the hexagon shape, and we're going to make reverse Lars head knots with those 10 cords. We're going to attach two in between the antlers, six in between the big space in the middle, and then another two to the right side on the right set of antlers. Now from left to right, with four cords at a time, we're going to make a row of square knots.
Now underneath, make an alternating row of square knots, starting on the left side, working your ways through to the right. Now taking a strand of cord at 160 centimeters long, attach it to the left and right sides of the face with reverse Lark's head knots. Starting with the left side first, make a reverse Lark's head knot up the top on the left side. Then using those two cord ends with the two cord ends next to it to the right, we're going to make a square knot here. Now repeat the same thing on the right side. Underneath, add another alternating row of square knots. Now taking the right two and the left two cords, we're going to weave them through the sides of the frame, then back to the front, and then using those two cord ends, we're going to make a square knot with the cords adjacent to them. So on the right side, we'll take those two cords and then the cords next to them to the left and make a square knot. Then repeat the same thing on the left side. Now fill in the square knots in the center. Now again, repeat for another weave with the left side and the right side and then another full row of square knots. Repeat this pattern three more times below. Once you're complete with the five weaves plus rows of square knots, you should be at the outer edges of the face. What we're going to do is repeat the same pattern downwards, this time shrinking the amount of space with every row, but we're going to continue with our weave plus square knot row pattern. Right here, we're going to make an alternating square knot row first. Then weave the cords on both ends and then make an alternating square knot on the sides for another square knot row. Fill in the middle section and then continue downwards four more times. When you reach the bottom, you should be left with five square knots here. And if you have it, then we are complete and we can now push the cords through to the back side.
what we're going to do is take the far left two chords and we're going to make two double half hitch knots on the side of the frame. So not at the bottom, but on the sides. Then repeat the same thing on the right side. Now at the bottom, we're going to start with the far left chord, make a double half inch knot onto the bottom of the frame. Then we're going to skip every second one and take every second one and attach those chords onto the bottom frame with double half inch knots. And this is what the bottom should look like once you're done with that row of double half inch knots. So from the antlers that we had made above, you should have some scrap cords at about 30 centimeters long. And if you do, we're going to use those to make the eyes here. So you will need 30 centimeter strands of cord for this part. What we're going to do is take one cord and we're going to weave them through to make the eyes. So taking one strand of cord, weave it through on the left side in between a square knot. Then taking the left end, we're going to weave it through the hole diagonally downwards to the left. Take that same cord end and weave it through the hole right beside it. Taking that same cord end on the right side, we're going to wrap it through that hole in the center at the back. So we're going to pull it through from the back to the front and then weave it through to the right side again. Then taking the left end, we're going to bring it back up on the left side and through the hole in the center. Now at the back, we're going to tie a double overhand knot to finish. Once you're done with the eyes on this side, we're going to repeat the same thing on the right side, mirroring what we had just done. Now that we're done both eyes, we're going to work on the nose of the reindeer. I'm going to take two strands of terracotta colored cord at 60 centimeters long each, fold it in half. And I am going to take the far left and far right cords as working cords for a square knot. We're going to leave 
small loops at the top on both sides so that we can thread some cords through afterwards. But once we have small loops just like this, we're now going to finish off the other side of the square knot. Now continue downwards for two more square knots as we're going to make a berry knot for the nose. Once the three square knots are done, we're going to take the left middle end and we're going to weave it through the left loop, then take the right middle end and weave it through the right loop. Pull the cord ends to tighten. And here now you should have four cord ends sticking out and we're going to place this in the center on the face and we're going to place the berry knot on top of a square knot and with the four holes beside it, we're going to weave these four cord ends through those square knot holes. Once the cord ends are weaved through, we're going to bring them to the back and secure with double overhand knots. Last but not least, at the bottom, we're going to gather the cord ends together and taking another 60 centimeter strand of cord, we're going to gather the cords here with a bow. the macrame reindeer wall hanging pattern i really hope you guys enjoyed it and had so much fun making it it will definitely bring festive cheer to your home and it also makes a great friendly or family activity to do during the holidays if you guys love christmas as much as i do and are interested in advancing your macrame skill set further you can get the best of both worlds on our Bochinot Macrame community on Patreon this month. This month our theme is Christmas themed and we will be going over several different projects such as textured projects, intricate knotting projects, 3D projects, and much more. So if you guys are interested, check us out on patreon.com slash for more details. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.